What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Rico Nasty, and I'm gonna tell you guys exactly who the fuck I is. I've always been Rico Nasty. I think she's just been like a little bit antisocial. She's been afraid of how people would perceive her. But I've been me all my life, and you know, it's been cool. <laughs> But Rico Nasty is really, she really is a personality. She's not really me. So I've been Rico Nasty for about like two years, I think, developing the character, her personality, and her characteristics, and how she likes to dress and shit like that. It's like building a Sims within myself. Where am I from? I'm from the DMV, AKA Maryland. Growing up in the DMV was like hella weird because I knew I was different from everyone. But I embraced it because as I got older, I realized that everyone's weird. We're all kind of like swimming in our own ponds. So, you know, that was pretty much it, being a loner. Nothing too crazy though. No, I started making music when I was in the 10th grade. I had a mixtape I was called Summer's Eve, for you bitches who stank pussies. And it was great, like it was just an amazing mixtape. No, it wasn't, it was so trash. I had no type of promotional tactics, anything. Uh, but I did get some school clothes, so that was pretty lit. They were sucking dicks. I was like, oh my God, Rico, feature. <laughs> Sugar Trap is the part of the trap that traps you. <laughs> The part of the trap that's fun, the part of the trap that makes you not want to leave the trap, and gets niggas stuck, and be stuck in the trap their whole life, because they get caught in the sugar trap. It's kind of like a, it's like a headspace, and a way of fashion, and a way of life. Sugar trap is just like, pure. Being on Insecure, having Poppin' on there was hella crazy for me because I had never thought of that song as anything that would be t television friendly. But then, you know, you watch Insecure and it just flowed right in. So I'm happy they were able to do that with my song. I'm happy they even, you know, chose the song. And so I didn't really tell anybody about being on Insecure or nothing. So when it came out, now everyone in my family is like, oh my God, we're gonna watch it next Sunday, everybody together. So. It's like all my cousins, my little cousins, my dad, my, my aunts, and just everybody is at the house. And Lawrence had a fucking threesome in front of like all my family. And it was just like, everyone was looking at me like, why did you make us watch this? <laughs> but I think that was good. Well, popping is just the anthem for bad bitches. Like, who am I? I'm a bad bitch. And I don't, I might not look bad right now because I got on a hoodie, but you know, don't mind that. I, I'm, I'm beautiful inside and out. <laughs> and popping is just for the girls who feel like they don't get the credit they deserve. So instead of someone reminding you how beautiful you are, how about you remind them? You know what I'm saying? Like, let me remind you who the fuck I am. Instead of waiting for Prince Charming to compliment you and shit, it's just compliment yourself. So popping is just to get the bitches feeling lit. I am low-key obsessed with Japanese culture. I'm really obsessed with manga and chibi and favorite manga ever. I had like the figurines for it. I don't know if too many people know about it, but it was Chobits. And the whole, the, I had the whole series and Fruits Baskets was tight too. But I had the whole series of that shit and I was so obsessed with them that I had figurines and shit. I ordered them online. I had them all around my room, in my bathroom. I just feel like Japanese culture is so bright and vivid and happy. And every time I see pictures of Tokyo, I just wonder what it's like over there and how they live. And their fashion is way different from ours. Like we value brands and they, they might value certain brands out there, but they're completely different from the brands that we value. So it's always good to get on those, you know, the websites, the foreign websites, and you see fly ass shit that you know nobody over here is gonna have. Um, everyone over there, I feel like thinks out of the out of the fucking box, and I know their clubs are fucking lit. So maybe one day we'll be over there. The way you make General Tso's chicken pizza is you have to, of course, order a bowl of General Tso's chicken, no rice. You don't put rice on pizza. Then, 
have to get a regular plain pizza. Cheese pizza, extra sauce, however you feeling it. And then you got a chopped and jumbo sauce chicken up. Layer it all over the pizza. Scoop out that little extra juice. Layer that shit too. And then bam, bitch, you got jumbo sauce chicken pizza. And if you're watching this and you eat it and you tell me it's nasty, I really don't care because I was high when I tried it. So it might really be nasty, but it's neither here nor there. Nobody cares about that. We're trying new shit. It's America.